Hey everybody, Nick here. Today I want to share with you my top five breweries in Baltimore City. This was a little bit of a tough list uh, to kind of come up with, so I had to consult with my two really good friends, Wick and Gideon, on this, and we kind of put our heads together to come up with, in our opinion, our top five. We base this off of how we rank the beer, how we rank the space, the overall vibes, locations, things like that. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. So the first and number one beer is Peabody Heights. And we really think that this brewery is, in our opinions, number one of this five. It's a good location in Waverly. It's close to Johns Hopkins, Charles Village. But like I said, we rank the beer, the top, the Astrodon stuff that they do there is really cool. It's a nice little tap room. Um, so we link that as our as our number one. Number two is Mobtown down in Brewers Hill. Um, we think that this is the second best beer of most of the breweries, in our opinion, like I said. Um, you know, really easy to kind of get to location wise. It's off O'Donnell and Haven Street. So it's really easy to get to 95. We're coming from Canton. Um, the space is okay, but we think the beer really makes up for it. Number three is Nepenth or Nepenth. I never really know how to pronounce it. And Hamden. The beer is really good. The location's awesome. It's right in the heart of Hamden. So you can go to other restaurants and bars and kind of, you know, make a day out of it or an evening out of it. But we really like Nepenth knee penth or nepenth because their food program i mean they have an awesome menu um you know better than most of the other breweries if most of the other breweries don't really have food at all um and that really kind of what sets them apart and is really worthy of the number three spot number four is checker spot um we like the old location because it was really close to mt bank and top golf and camden yards because for us it would be a really nice alternative to going to all the, the bars in federal hill if we were going to go out to a game um but they're actually moving spaces they got a larger space to help increase production because they become so popular um which is going to be on the other side of mt bank stadium where they are now closer to the casino, um, but really, really great beer, really excited for them to open up a new larger space um, and really excited, but they are our number four. Number five is Union. They are one of the oldest in, you know, original craft breweries here in Baltimore City. Um, great beers, you know, their Steady Eddie is awesome. Their Divine IPA is Skip Jack. You know, they have tons of options for any kind of, you know, any kind of palette. They have a huge, awesome indoor outdoor space. Then you have the Union Collective right next door. So you have like the Wine Collective, you have the Charmery, you have, you know, a whole bunch of different things. And it's a really nice uh, because they're really close to Hamden as well. And then right off of 83. So if you're coming from New Northern Baltimore County or downtown, it's really, really easy to get to. And the last one, we want to give an honorable mention to Ministry of Brewing and Upper Fells. It's the coolest space of all the breweries. It was an old church that they, you know, retrofitted into a brewery. Their beers are really good, but, you know, we did a top five list, but we had to give an honorable mention for Ministry of Brewing. So so that was, the, you know, my top five. And, you know, it was really, like I said, really tough list to come, you know, to come up with, but, you know, it might cause a little controversy, but hey, that is what it is. So, you know, I'm a real estate agent here in the Baltimore area. You know, if you're moving to the area or you live in the area, you're looking for a change, want to be closer to one of these breweries, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is in this post and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.